Hello Sagittarius, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your May 2019 reading guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're old. We're so happy to grow and expand. So please continue to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all your support. Leave a comment um, if this resonates with you. It really, I appreciate the feedback. It helps me, it helps me become a better reader sorry not a better talker all right but <laughs> i appreciate all the loving the mclovin guys so please check out that description box below on information on how to book a personal reading with me um yeah and then you'll find my instagram and stuff there so feel free to follow me there if i get enough followers from youtube to my instagram then i'll start doing more tarot stuff if that makes sense but you also just get to see me being me you want to see that. <laughs> All right. What is going on with our Sagittarius for May 2019? Sagittarius for May 2019, please. Sagittarius for May 2019. Sagittarius for May 2019. Sagittarius for May 2019. All right. And three... Two. Oops. <laughs> Interesting. So we had the Tower moment and the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm reading this as two different things. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> they're radically different, but I always positive. All right. I like the Tower card. It's one of my favorite. Um, could be connected with the Scorpio, could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But some of you guys are going to receive some unexpected news about your finances. All right. About your home. This can be good or disruptive. All right. I don't want to say bad, but disruptive. It could throw you off. But for a lot of you guys, I'm really getting a more positive energy as you're going to find out that you, you're going to get some large sum of money at some time. It's going to come out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, it's either, I can't wait to see, I want to see the, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 This helps a lot. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. it's a new beginning guys. It's really positive. Okay. So it's that positive reading. You guys could be receiving some, um, something possibly from your mother, something unexpected could come out that really helps you in your finances. Okay. So let's see what else we got. All right. Let's see. Three, two, and one. Oops. Excuse me. Wow. All right, so the underlying energy we have is the Nine of Pentacles, guys, followed by the Wheel of Fortune ooh, and the Ace of Cups. Yo, bruh, look at that. And even to the Ten of Pentacles, this, oh, 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 oh. yes, OMG, this, there's an unexpected new beginning that is coming in for you. Oh, man, it's coming in quickly, guys. Woo! Y'all fire signs have been killing it. If I ever had to train in a week or a month to be a different sign, Guys, it would be fire because y'all are scorching it, killing it. I mean, woof. I mean, all the fire sign readings have been just been un unbelievably positive. Like, I'm so jealous, okay? But <laughs> I'm so mad. So, Sagittarius, I would expect a, like, a, a unexpected, <laughs> I would expect the unexpected, but truly, I would expect the unexpected as far as, like, a lump sum of, sum of money, just winning a contest, play the lottery. You might not win the big, big bucks, all right, but it's going to be enough that you're going to be able to take that trip, do that thing that you want to do. It's going to be, like, kind of like a gift from the universe, but for other of you guys, it's going to be quite a hefty sum, um, and this is something that you felt in your heart that's going to come. This could be from a loved one, a family member of some sort. Could be connected with the Pisces, but you have a new, fresh, lovely beginning to kind of this dreadful ass cycle that was taking place. And you're gonna really step into like this power of be of some more financial freedom or financial flexibility. And it's really gonna come kind of out of nowhere. Um yeah, because we even have like the moon and the chariot. So, like to me, the the moon could be connected with the cancer. Oh, certainly could be connected with the cancer, guys. But um, it's it's some it's hidden. It you can't see it yet. It's gonna be revealed to you. And once it is, it's gonna. I mean, you're just gonna be whew, moving. All right, it's gonna be like, psh, what happened? Uh, what? 
like it's that type of movement and, and pace and i see you just i mean you started off as the page of wands which is your energy and then the, the card right behind it was the empress so this is something little that grows and builds into something bigger i mean it's just a fresh opportunity a fresh opportunity really healing those financial situations really healing those things that you've been worried about um sagittarius so i would i mean i would be really excited about this again this can come I like to say my readings are like within a three month span. So this can come May, June, July. All right. All, all, you know, kind of Augusty. But the summer for sure, be expecting some, I mean, kind of random large sum of money. Um, yeah, we'll see how many people this, <laughs> we'll see how this video does. <laughs> it's like a billion views you know and everybody's like where's my money i'm like y'all i'm sorry class action suit you only get 52 cent but <laughs> but some of you guys are certainly receiving a lot of money wow i picked up the oracle cards i didn't get to the reading hold on sorry oh man it's so funny so i actually picked up those oracle cards and shuffle and the one card that flew out was luck is on your side guys <laughs> i mean whoa <laughs> thank goodness my grandma's a Sagittarius so shit if she wins the lotto I'll win the lotto and I'm out of here you know <laughs> but I if if you happen to click on this video and you know a Sagittarius I mean if you're cross watching work it out okay because they're about to step into some really nice money um yeah so we have the six of cups coming up as the heart of the reading the knight of cups coming up as the foundation the Page of Swords coming up as the present moment. And then we have the Devil. Ooh, interesting. Coming up as the card of advice. And then the World card is the card of advice. I'm sorry, the Devil being the most likely outcome. All right. So some of you guys could be receiving an offer from like somebody from the past could be coming back with this particular combo. All right. Um, the Six of Cups demonstrates nostalgia, looking back, reflection. While the Knight of Cups, it could be a message of love. So again, could be connecting with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got a lot of Cancerian energy here and Pisces. So, um... You could be connected with somebody on some type of emotional front. This person has been watching out for you or you've been watching this person, all right? Um, and I do sense if it's not like a past connection, then it's a past life connection, which you would recognize when you meet them. It's the type of love where you're like, I feel like I've known you before. It's because, bitch, you have, okay? Um, it was just not in this realm, not, but spirit will recognize spirit no matter what. So you would know that um, connection right off the rip. But we have the Page of Swords here. So that's why I'm saying there's been some level of like looking. Somebody's been keeping an eye out. But we have the Devil card being the most likely outcome. And my gut is telling me that you're releasing a lot of those old things. You're, you're moving forward into a really positive energy. Um, you're going to start feeling the release of those shackles. Um, yeah, with the world card being the card of, of advice coming after the devil, which is the world card is super positive. Um, as far as just completing a cycle, starting a new journey, you know, getting that confirmation of faith that you've been waiting for. Uh, yeah, so I imagine that you're going to be breaking away from these shackles and these chains. Or if this has to do with a relationship, be careful that this relationship isn't just solely centered around sex. All right, and lust. Hold on, all right, let's can clarify the devil, please, here for oh, our Sagittarius. Really interesting cards that came out. Um, so this is a specific message for not everyone, but... Some of you guys could be receiving like a wish fulfillment, but there's kind of a catch involved. Um, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn for sure. Uh, but I, there's a third party situation that's coming up, but I'm not sure why it's coming up, but it's so clear that I can't ignore it. So we have the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment and also overindulgence. Okay. To so the eight of cups, which is leaving something behind to the three of cups, um, which is re which can be a third party situation. And then we have the five of cups, which is sorrow. So there's leaving something behind due to overindulgence. And the reason why I went straight is because we had the queen and the king. So it seems like there's a third party situation that's happening. That's going on. And somebody could be choosing to walk away from this. Um, 
This could have to deal with your work environment or somebody's somebody's being taken advantage of in a situation, Sagittarius. So be aware and be mindful of that. You have control of this situation. Um, don't let them kind of play you for the fool, if that makes sense, because you're not. But I, I'm sensing some sort of third party situation. Again, that was a specific for for some of you guys. Um it, that didn't I'm not let's get to the oracles and see what the oracles have to say and then maybe it'll make a little bit more sense to me but I might just have to wait for the comment section so y'all can make that make sense for me because I'm confused okay I'm confused as to what this is all right mm, darn it all right so we have take time to breathe out and the energy is gaining momentum which to, for, for some reason all right, for some reason, I'm getting that, like, sorry, guys, my phone. <laughs> I'm I'm sensing that it's because you found out information of some sort, all right? Or, like, it just escalated. Like, you, you knew that this person was in separation with another individual, but then you find out that they're actually married and living together. It's that type of energy, if that makes sense. So, uh, really interesting. But it's picking up. Whatever that means for you, Sagittarius. Let's see. The Wisdom of the Oracle. Yeah, and be careful. Okay, be careful. When this money comes to you or when this blessing comes to you, when this thing reveals itself, here's the thing. Be careful around the people that you're associating with because you don't want to be taken advantage of. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, be aware. Be weary. Especially people who are coming back from the past, all right? Because somebody, feel, somebody I'm feeling is a snake in the grass. There we go go okay i was just like why is this making sense to me all right somebody is gonna return all right and kind of present themselves as a friend this might not even be romantic but somebody if you get this they're gonna sense it even if you don't post it on social media right that you have this money they're just gonna sense it they're gonna sense that you're doing well and be careful not to be preyed upon all right you're gonna be fine either way you're gonna it works out for you with the world card being here i don't see I see you being financially stable and dependent, but dependent, but watch out who comes back from the past, all right? Because they just sense when your energy is a high vibration. Do you have those friends or those people in your life where once you're doing well, that's when they're always like, hey, let's hang, you know? And you're like, where were you when I was struggling? Way ass was that when I was with the, 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 that future song, because that's what's happening. So the fate, so this is destiny, and I think that this blessing is destiny. That's what yeah look why mm -hmm. i love this this world card all right is destiny it's fates all right this judgment card this thing that's going to be revealed for you this new beginning is yours and yours only and it's and it's been orchestrated by um the gods all right <laughs> it's been orchestrated by god it's been orchestrated by love because you've been a loving person or a giving person sagittarius now it's coming back to you just be careful not to be taken advantage of all right Hell yeah. So you have loyal hearts, which again, always comes into question about character. It's this, this card to me is about character, about somebody's character. And that's why I'm just like, it's kind of in a challenging way. So just be careful about who's surrounded by you. Who, who knows? All right. Who knows that you have this money and what exactly are they asking you for? I'm talking to you as if you have it. So if you don't have it, you just start claiming it and you will. All right. But just, it's going to boil down to loyalty. All right. So we have a change in the wind. Yep. The world card, again, a change of the kill, the wind, and time for a nap. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Chill. Chill, Sagittarius, because it's really, it's coming. Don't even worry about it. I love that. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. All right, so we have three, two. All right, let's see what came in. Hey. Mm. And it's so interesting because this combination is completely the best way to describe um, temperance, which is y'all's card. And so we have wisdom and balance. All right. Ooh, I love that. That's very much Sagittarian energy. That's very much Jupiter. All right. Um, having like some higher understanding of just the way the world works due to your curiosity and asking questions. You're going to come into this balanced state just because you've gone down a trail. Um, 
that you haven't be before. And, and some of you guys, it's a spiritual child. Some of you guys are going through a spiritual awakening. I can speak for my grandma. I know that she is now. And it's just that time in your life to have this spiritual awakening. And then what you're going to be able to do, be it on a small scale or a large scale, is you're really going to kind of, some of you guys, wow, this is a really specific message, but some of you guys are going to end up not preaching, but you're just going to be spreading the word of faith and spirituality. And because you're so gregarious and people like you and you're so open to talking, you're going to be the perfect front man for positivity, Sagittarius. So the universe is going to start rewarding you so you can start going to spread the word and like preach it. All right. Preach how good God has been to you. Preach the wisdom. Preach, you know, the things that you've been practicing. All right. Is now they're actually going to be material. It's not just a hope and a dream anymore. It's going to be coming into play and so that's why you have to be careful with the snakes in the grass because people are going to realize that you have this power and they might want to abuse you all right in some way but the clear red flag for this particular person it's not going to be somebody new it's going to be somebody coming back from the past somebody that you know well all right um yeah but like yeah a lot of you guys are going to be blessed so you can spread the message of blessings that's what I got, Sagittarius. So that's absolutely what I got. Um, thanks for bearing with me through this reading because it was so all over the place. But it came together in a really nice, beautifully packaged way. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. I can't wait to hear from you in the comment section. I hope that this resonates. Be prepared. Be open. All right? Be ready to receive and be wise, all right, about who you're spending your time with and just sharing this information with because that will be your rock star move. So peace, Sagittarius. Until next time, check out the description box for information on how to book a personal reading with me. All right. Much love.